today, at least for the first half, is going to be pretty ugly, truthfully. Okay. I mean, I wish that the weather could always be beautiful. Maybe you look at foggy conditions as beautiful weather. Who knows? But this morning, it's definitely going to play into your commute to work and sending the kids out the door as they head to school. This is a live look closer to downtown I-90 at 77. You can see that the pavement is also wet. You get a little bit of the glare from the headlights coming and going. But temperatures right now, at least at Cleveland Hopkins, are in the upper 40s, and we are still locked in by cloud cover. I want to point out two things here, actually three, 47, but our dew point temperature just a degree off at 46 degrees. And where do our winds fall? Well, they are starting to shift out of the north, but they're light. So there's not a huge moving mechanism to the atmosphere right now. So any of the moisture we have, because the closer your dew point and air temperature are, means that the air is more saturated. It doesn't move a whole lot. So what do we get from that? We get patchy dense fog across Northeast Ohio. It's the name of the game for everyone this morning, everywhere from Mansfield to the Akron Canton area, all the way down to Dover, Youngstown, Ashtabula, Lake County, some seeing it more than others, but it's a precaution as you head on out the door that you will see some reduction in visibility, a little haze, the mist, the drizzle too. It's going to be one of those annoying mornings when it comes to sweeping the windshield wipers too. Across the area though, we're basically all locked in by the upper 40s right around 52, so it is mild. You don't necessarily need all the winter gear, but with the conditions that we're experiencing, the mist, the drizzle, the haze, the fog, well, it does feel damp to you outside. So if you have to be out maybe for a couple hours this morning, uh, maybe you patrol at school and help the kids cross it's going to be one of the mornings where you're definitely starting to feel a little bit cooler at times. Across the area, though, where does the day take us? Well, we're only going to top basically about where we're sitting at right now. So not a huge fluctuation with when it comes to our temperatures. We'll start to tear back some of the fog and the mist and the drizzle by about midday. Cloud cover will stick with us, though. And why is this happening? Well, we have a huge boundary just parked to the south of us. So it is bringing a whole lot of rain to Kentucky, parts of Tennessee, all the way back through the parts of the deep south too. And this has been with us for the past couple of days. That's why we've been getting brushed by system after system. And you can tell that there's something going on here because the mile there is down to the south or parts of the southeast all the way to southern Texas, but all the way up a little bit farther to the north, Minneapolis sitting at 20 degrees. So there is a divide and that stationary front is separating the cold air to the warmer air right now. And where do we have to look next for our next system that will maybe budge our temperatures a little bit more than what we're dealing with right now, all the way out to the west. So in your natural design mart hour by hour forecast, maybe a sprinkle here and there as we head through the first half of today. That wind shift though will usher in a little bit more of dry air. So it may erode some cloud cover right before sunset tonight. Maybe a peak for some of you. And then tomorrow morning, some of us starting in the morning in the 30s as opposed to where we are right now in the 40s. In your Union Home Mortgage Extended Forecast, we dive for your Thursday back into the low 40s, so not a huge dive in comparison to where we'll be today in the upper 40s. As we head through the weekend, still in the 40s, maybe some extra sunshine for your Saturday, and we're actually closer to 50 degrees come next week at almost this time. Danielle? Thank you so much, Peyton.